All right, so we got four score for our first stage. Uh, stage with a small side blast zone, small bottom blast zone, and small top blast zone. Well, the side stage blast zones tiny. actually aren't all that narrow. Um, they're wide enough. Uh, it's part of why I like it for Edelus is because it actually gives you plenty of room to just move away from the stage during your recovery. Um, Early time. Yeah, it, it looks kind of narrow just because, like, at the start of the, the game like this, the stage itself is so wide. Um, and then, like, also, while Good the... Text. Yeah, excellent text to recover from that. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Um, but also, while the, uh, the the blast zones on the side aren't, like, super wide, the width of the stage really does help with that. Like, unless they're literally hitting you at ledge. Like, all of that stage width helps to make the stage, like, superficially even wider than it is when it's just an average wide stage, as far as blast zones go, um, to make it actually, I think, a rather wide stage for surviving things. Hmm. Uh, it's really that top blast zone. So uh, we'll see a lot of up specials getting carried off the top from uh, from a Teosk, and uh, probably a lot of up strong confirms from uh, Durai. So both players we can expect to be blowing up early. Oh yeah, but right now, Teosk already on the second stock. Uh, that first stock didn't actually go so well for him. It was only 16% on Durai at the end of it. Um, Teos getting in a lot better here. Mm, well, he's got like slowed down to neutral a lot, and just like chipping on damage. Oh, and he confirmed that? No. That's unfortunate. So we're back to neutral on stage. Just wave dash around, throw needles. You know how it is. Nice patience we're seeing out of both these players. Like they're not—they're not really running at each other, you know. Both of them are just kind of sizing each other up in neutral, seeing how it goes, and then they collab, uh, collide, and then uh, we get a neat little combo. Oh, dude! Oh, I was hoping to see. I was like, that crystal's been there the whole time. It's, I always like—I really like it when Olympia just leaves the crystal there forever and then just recovers from it like 30 seconds later or something like that. Yeah, there we go. That. That up special lethality on the, the low top ce uh, ceiling. We're a stock down, but a stock's not a lead. We just need one solid Olympia stock. Mm -hmm. Which Olympia can just, you know, mash face on a, on a stage without very many platforms. Especially against Rano, who has really bad aerial DI. Those tongues are super interesting. When the ones, the ones that don't hit slow down the game a lot. Yeah, is. Do you think that's because of Asteosk's own like um, failure to punish them, or is it like just like really hard to approach from that angle? Because I'm not, I'm not super uh, familiar with Olympia, to be honest. So like when 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 uh, you're sitting on her platform and you throw a tongue, right? What does Olympia do? Could she jump over the tongue and like land on the platform? I'm worried about that. Trying to do like a fair approach or something like that. Like is is all of it too slow? Like can she punish that? Because she's like I know you got to do the down special. Uh, Input, she goes in quick, right? Yep. Oh man. <laughs> Look at him just standing there. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Both these players being like very patient in this set. Well, just <laughs> waiting it out. Wow. Right going right under. Mm -hmm. Excellent threading of the needle. Oh, interesting. Uh, bubble DI. <laughs> to I pull yourself into the, the set there, yeah. I think you probably the idea there was to maybe get a little farther away from the stage when you're in the bubble, uh, just get a little bit harder to edge guard. Although you know, Rano can just like walk off and fair you, so you gotta be really careful anywhere near the stage there in that bubble. Yep. <laughs> so a task thinking about is it? where he wants to go probably. Yeah, honestly, I think I feel like they both kind of like similar stages. Olympia they they wants both the want to. Platform. Yeah, but doesn't Rano also want to take you to the top platform? Like, get you on tech chases on platform and kill you? He can get up there pretty easily, but Olympia's got focus attack. Well, she just wants to, like, like up air ladder you up to the top platforms and then, like, up special. Or back air, I'm sorry. It was fantastic. Okay, stage. we're getting up. Uh, Oh, unfortunately, how did uh, how did that that crystallize not happen? Uh, I don't think I saw it in air dodge. Uh, maybe he teched it, but I believe you still like kind of explode. <laughs> I'm a little confused by that, but you know the set the set goes on. Um, still rather close to the first stock, a small percent advantage for a task, which he just converted into a stock advantage. Stock for a task this time. Mm -hmm. So, uh, starting off pretty good. Yeah, into a really juicy extra credit. 
Um, that crystal there, like, a little, like, foreknowledge, just put that crystal out there. I'm about to go off stage over here. It was perfect. Oh, eating the, the needle, but it's all right. Not able to focus through the, through the edge guard, but the up special coming in. Man, <laughs> if it's going to be a grab, I really wish it wasn't just a little disjointed, but here I am going to be another person bitching about Olympia, so <laughs> I'm not going to do that. Oh, and then we get, like, that excellent up smash confirm that I was talking about before. It's just, like, they, they spend so much time just, like, even though they're, like, doing little dashes, they spend so much time just standing. Yep. <laughs> it's funny. I like watching it. It's it's really impressive to see, like, how well they control their characters. They, they're moving exactly where they are, and there's, like, where they want to be, and there's, like, no excess movement. They just stop going. I kind of want to see someone start walking. <laughs> oh. Edgar going, yeah. but it's not over yet. That's actually probably yep, the best way is. you can edge guard that is just as as Rano just eat that wall jump fair. Can can Olympia hold in and like wall tech that maybe? Oh, uh, he missed the break in the crystal, but managed to thread the needle, get back on the stage either anyway. That was a good recovery. Yeah, I like the needle pressure as he moved to the top platform too. Oh, that's a big parry, yeah. Which brings this game all pretty close to all the way back. Okay, with a neutral win from Durai. Uh, how far does he do? Oh, a good parry. <laughs> I mean, that's not going to do it. Not at zero. <laughs> yeah, maybe maybe at like 40. Hold up. Oh, no. Whiff in the forward special. And Durai's back on stage. And this is still like just a percent lead for Durai, but a really, really close game. Um, Dry well, just can still just get blown out. <laughs> Dry's recovery this game has been has been really good. He's like very consistently, I think, making it back. I think uh, Ateas needs to figure out how to how to stop Dry from moving around these platforms. He's not gonna hit by any straight down tilts. Mm -hmm. uh, crystal pop? Oh, uh, not no. quite. That's kind of hard to time. Uh, missing the fair oh, too. No. This is Chaos not. Stage. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Oh, double back. And All right. Cool. Okay. I would have been. I. I would not have liked to seen that game go with like he missed the fair and like got punished for it by an immediate death. I wouldn't have been happy with that. So I'm glad to see that go the way that did. <laughs> Slightly brighter timeline. Of course. Uh, Dry still looking to be uh, a huge threat here. Like that. That game was uh, the Teos clawing it back. He he had took like it seemed to be a pretty good early lead, but you know Dry just able to close out those stocks so efficiently. That Rano lethality, man. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right. So where is Dry looking to go? Interesting. That's an interesting stage. Yeah. Um, I mean, it makes both of their recoveries a lot better, but I mean, I feel like Dry didn't really need the recovery help there, so. Does he just want to get that much closer to the blast zones? I don't know. Well, we also, I think, uh, have to figure out factor in that uh, Olympia can't really ladder as efficiently here. The, the the blast zones are really high, and the, the platforms don't go that high, so she can't just, like, ladder. Wow, what a call out. Uh, he's he's just camping down here off this platform, for under this platform forever. What is this? This is the wackiest shit. What are you doing? Okay, Teos managed to force him back on the stage. Like, play the game with me, bro. <laughs> no, Dry just just wants to sit there and spin. All right, let's go. All right, no. But now we're back. Yeah, like he's just completely forcing Teos to approach here, put himself down under that platform. Oh, yeah, that's unfortunate. I mean, it feels it like that's kind of kind of the game plan, right? So yeah, I think a crystal could actually do it if, he, if maybe if Fatas like backed up a little bit more before he placed it, left it on the stage so it couldn't be destroyed, and just punishes him for being down under there. I mean that does it too. Popping it earlier, I guess. I mean, <laughs> okay, it seems like at least Dry isn't just doing that. Now he's moving around on the platform. I mean, he just refuses to get on the stage though. This is some silliness. 
Okay. Hit the focus. Not able to get anything off of it on the trade. Hold up. Okay. There we go. Good crystallized punish. But do we see where does Dry go? Okay, he doesn't go back under the platform. He is actually <laughs> playing neutral with our guy. Oh, wait. Do I have to shut my mouth? Can I just not talk? I think I'm not allowed to say things. There we go. Yeah, that's what I was talking about earlier. Like, the, the crystal yeah, on the stage. Like, w leaving the crystal on the stage, he literally just can't be down there. I mean, he's... I feel like, yeah, you just punish him for getting on the platform, and when he goes under platform, you just don't engage. Crystal punish? Okay. Yeah. It seems like Teosk really has figured this punish out. Oh, Beautiful. Wow. Crowd popping off for a Teos. Oh, oh no. the triple dare. Or bear. What am I saying? Oh. Right, still ready yeah. to play the game. He's Sharking a Teos. Yet. Double jump out. Oh. And carrying him out to the blast zone. Yeah, he's uh, he's like, all right, we're done uh, just sitting off stage now. I'm just going to try and kill you. Uh, could not close it out quite. Oh, come on. Okay, no. Mateos did not quite go deep enough. Uh, <laughs> all of these focus, focus parries, though. You know, have, we haven't seen a... Oh, okay. Well, FDI. yeah. Man. A Teos making this look really competitive, but uh, Dry decided, like, like when he decided he wanted to play that game, it looked like he kind of just started running away with it a little bit. He's like, hey, let me just combo you me, like from here to there. You're at 90 now. Yeah. Um, wacky camping strats, huh? Does he have any more stages he could do something like that? No, I don't think so. I think it's just, oh. Is he going to, are we going to see a repeat? Uh, hopefully we won't because you know a task has shown that he like you know he's got the crystal response. Pretty sure a task is unhappy about it. I mean a task picked the stage. I'd be unhappy about it too. <laughs> yeah. Just a little silly and maybe a bit disrespectful, but you know, camping and rivals. Now it looks like a Teos wants to just stay on the other really side long. of the stage. <laughs> They're just like giving each other like half the stage apart for a while there. And again, just kind of like looking at each other. Just waiting for one to go in and Teos decides to go in and gets punished for it. Uh, how long will we stretch this edge guard? Oh, that looks like that might be the stock. Oh no, I was expecting a tongue, but he's he's got it. No, he doesn't. He fell. I, I think that was a misinput. Okay. Managed just to punish him even through the parry. Or the, the focus. Oh. Interesting. Empty yeah, hop to platform. Even, but. Yeah. Well, there it goes. Yeah, but this could be like one or two Dry's touches away from... This game. I mean, I don't know. Dry... I don't imagine Dry's too upset about the the return. He's just not... Oh, is he? Is he? Oh my gosh, Dry, what are you doing? I mean, the, the crystal was already out, so he had plenty of time to just do it. So... Huh. And I wonder, stuck. like, what's the how strong is doing that? Just sitting there and having your bubble. I mean, I, he he gets to be under the platform and just sit there. I get that. But if the other guy's just gonna sit there and watch you do it, that puts the onus on you to you now you have to return to the platform or fall. So like, I I don't like I'm not sure I understand. You know, I think it's funny. <laughs> Absolutely, I think it could have its uses. But in that situation, I was just confused as to why he does it then. It's funny in a certain kind of way. <laughs> yeah, when well, so a Teosk is just looking at him. A Teosk, yeah. Yeah, it's so it's like... In general, yeah. Know, but. So, like, because a Teos is more than willing to just sit there and wait. And he, it, it's, it's working out for him. Okay, just two quick hits from Rano, something he can pretty easily do. Focus is not super safe against Rano really close to the ground. Oh, good parry. Uh, not quite enough, though, on the huge ceiling on this map. There's another parry. Yeah, and still no. Yeah, this is a, a, an interesting stage to bring him back to when uh, your up special pretty much won't ever kill off the top. 
And then just more stalling. Okay. Oh, interesting. Bub <laughs> bubble crystal? Oh, no. Oh, no. One stock apiece. Yeah, no, it's it's very even. Task uh, potentially on his last stock. Yeah. Let's see if he can take it to a game five. Oh, there's the tongue. Oh, it's just the bears. Oh, okay, no. But at 50, I don't think Dry would have died there. The ceilings on this map are insane. And without like good platforms, like Olympia really struggles to take you all the way up to the top. Oh, clearing the crystal. Stage, but not for long. Yeah, just meanders back onto the platform. No big deal. Hold up. Okay. He's really going for the. Oh, oh! There we go. Excellent call out. Finally, just goes real deep for it. Two games. Yeah. A piece. That was an all or nothing. He just, like, if you missed that, it was just over. Whole set was over for him. Here we go. Game five. Mm hmm. <laughs> Task is like, yeah, man. We can play more. You, you, can, you can camp under that platform all day long. Told him he could go back. And Dry is uh, consulting his playlist. <laughs> but what if he went back? Okay. The world may never know. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, I feel like isn't this wouldn't this be considered like a better Olympia stage because she's got like the really good burst vertical movement, and then Rano can't do much in the air, right? He's slow. He's slow as heck in the air. So I think but, Rano's burst I mean, movement here we go. is also super good. Plus he's got needle. That's needle true. Is super good. Yeah, he can just completely deny her space on the ground. Um, until the Olympia player, you know, manages to parry it, but also he's just eating here. those needles. Oh, yeah. Oh, wow. Up smash. Yep. Kill a little early. Oh, tongue like early tongue. Uh, does not manage to, to clean the tongue up. Or the bubble. Oh wow! Right <laughs> that was a, a neat little needle snipe. I like that. The spin at the ledge. What? That was a really I don't understand that. The needle storm. Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't get it. Like when she's coming up from you with with, uh, with the up special, man. That move is that move is a little silly to be sitting on top of. Maybe he meant to get on the stage so that like when she passed the stage, uh, Ollie would just start eating needles. Well, he had a wall jump, so. Oh, for the the wall tech fair, yeah. You're right. And, and a good DI to the corner. Oh, no. He just wants okay. to get hit. Yeah. <laughs> Tass is like, no, I am not coming over there and hitting you. Barely missed that other up air. Oh, yep. There's the tech uh, tech fair. Uh, seems to be a, a pretty effective uh, setup. Tass on his last stock here. Got another tongue. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, no. Yeah, pretty hard uh, to deal with uh, Olympia recovering high, it seems. Oh, this max That's range parried, tongue. Though. Getting parried, but uh, the parry punish. Get too much out of it. Yeah. Not too valuable. Well, these, these wall tech punishes coming out of their eye. He just kind of sits at the ledge there and he dares you to do something about it. These needles, though, too. Now. These needle hedge cards are <laughs> really nice. Yeah, there it clean. is. Clean, yeah. That was uh, Three, two, 